Welcome to the commentary box, Arthur Ali Khan. Uh, tough times uh, all around. It's not going to be easy for these youngsters, remember. First ball of the series. Ah, staying a bit low. Short is definitely going to be punished, especially the side boundaries are not too big oh, enough. He's worked hard at getting the race position. But this is what happened, Athar. The last ball of the first over. Yeah, it sits up nicely. I've mentioned about the pace. Oh, that should be close. Could be close. It is close. The finger goes up. Now they've started to pour in. And it has just uh, started to pour in. We haven't had rain for a long, long time. And would you believe it? International cricket comes back to Bangladesh and it starts raining. At the moment, it was surprising, though, that Mustafiz was allowed to start his second over, the fourth of the innings. And then it's up to the groundsman. And this is what has happened since the start of play. Sunil Amris was LBW to Mustafiz Rahman, the chief curator around to come in ensuring that the ground is good enough to play. They removed the covers, they started their preparation for play when again the rain showers started pouring down. Still two minutes to start. But now it's all clean, dry and the players are out there to resume action. Good start. It's strange, the 23 ICC World Cup at that really pulled really well, but it got a bit of a bat. I reckon, yes, it has. Anything short is going to be punished. He's a strong player and he's making it count once more. Need to grab it with both hands. Oh, taken. Brilliant. The flying Litton does. Have a look at this. This is a stunning catch. It's a little bit wide. Oh, have a look at that. Brilliant. Absolutely stunning. Was going quick to his right. Quick reaction. Very good uh, from Leighton Kumar Das. He knows a lot about international cricket. There you go. Once again, it's uh, made batting simpler because it's coming at a comfortable height. The batsman can maneuver the balls and manipulate them, really troubling the batters as such. I swear that he just uh, asked. Good occasion for this young man, they have been playing for his country. That's uh, in, uh, a proud moment when he was handed uh, the cap by the skipper and all his teammates uh, floating there. Very, very proud moment. Two's the call, an easy two you can hear from Jason Mohammed. Could be more than that, in fact. The return of Shakib. Interesting to see Shakib really trying to get some. Uh, Work done by Rubel Hussein. It's and that's bowling wicket number 150 at home for Shakib Al Hassan. He's back and he's back with a bang. Making life difficult for these batters out there. The straight ball. He won't give you many chances of missing. Boundary. Brilliant way to start off in international cricket. And that's 50 up for West Indies. Worked really well on the hips. That shot onto it in a flash. Ah, he enjoyed it. Don't bother running. He will feel a lot better. Nerves will ease. He will feel a lot better to play his shots now. What a ball. Sharp turn. There's an appeal for stumping. Keep rolling forward. Keep rolling through. Keep rolling through. That 
That straight to the ah! and again huge appeal this time and given him. Batsman Bona goes for a review immediately, but Shaki Balasan is you can't take him away from the game. Ball tracking coming up now. Ball pitching outside off. Impact in line. Wickets hitting. I would like to go back to on field umpire. Mukul, I would recommend you to stay with your original decision of out. You're on screen signal now. Right hand power. It can work the other way as well. I'm not saying it's exclusive. That's high. And that's gone all the way for six from Rothman Powell. That's brilliant. That's very, very bold strike. Pace bowling department before you started playing, while you're playing. Because that's a lovely, lovely shot. I tell you, that was a great. So I tell you, he loves pace on the ball, Mears. That's gone as well. So Rothman Powell has said to Carl Mears, I'll match you. Mention not getting sucked in. That's miss hit, but miss hit for four. Lovely shot, stylish shot again. For the second time for Mears, it brings up the 50 partnership. Beautiful, you see why and how much more comfortable he is with pace on the ball. That's nowhere near a half volley. Oh, beautifully bowled, and it's given. That is his first wicket. Debutant picks up and breaks this all-important partnership forever. His first international wicket was a very well bowled and was in right channel for the batsman. Wasn't sure whether to play or not, and in the end, only manages to give an outside edge. Hassan Mahmoud, he's elated, and why not? Oh, very good. Coming round the wicket. Give it! Really well bowled from the youngster. He knew the new batsman had to play. And if he had to play, there is always a chance to get a wicket. No oh boy, this young man is beaming in confidence now. Back-to-back -back wickets for Hassan Mahmoud. Raymond Reefer departs for Duck. West Indies 115 for seven. What a ball, flight at delivery, just tossed up and invited the batsman to play that shot and getting that outside edge. Forcing the batsman a left-hander to come and push it forward. Gets an outside edge, easy for Litton Das to grab it. Lovely dismissal, beautifully bowled. Another wicket falls. Outside edge, straight into the hands. The wickets are coming thick and fast. Another one bites the dust, straight into the hands. And this time, another setting up delivery outside off stump, inviting the batsman to play a drive away from his front foot and then a good catch in the end from Liton Das. Safe pair of hands at slip. Hassan Mahmood has been doing really well on his debut. And why not? A looking ahead. Shakir back in the attack. Now what a comeback this has been for Shakir Balasan, playing his 100th one day international at home. What a ball to pick up his fourth wicket, flight and delivery, goes through the gate between the bat and pad, and West Indies are bundled out for 122. Shakir Balasan on his comeback, picked up four wickets, giving away just eight runs. What a comeback, what a player, the champion player is back with a bang. He's picked up four wickets for eight runs. He's given nothing away. Terrific. Western Indies bowled out for 122. That's the second lowest score against Bangladesh in a one-day international. Uh, this is how it all end up for Windies. Ricocheting off the pad. And going on. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. And also he picks up the best figures for Bangladesh against Windies in a one-day international Shakib, Shakib Al Hassan 4 for 8 in 7.2 overs brilliant absolutely fantastic Windies in the first innings bowled out for 122 in just 32.2 overs yes there were contribution with the bat for Myers and Powell but apart from that nothing much to write home about
122, it's also the second lowest total for West Indies against Bangladesh. Apart from Shakib Al Hassan, Mustafizur Rahman, Hassan Mahmood, Mehdi Hassan Miraz, all bowled really well. In March 2020, Litton Das facing Al Zari Joseph. And I cast my mind back to last side, first time. Excellent over to start with a maiden, none for none. Nice movement, nice long range reaction for Shamar Holder out of Barbados. Quick bowlers. First run. You've had Gordon Greenwich, the former West Indies opening batsman, as part of coaching staffs over time. Lovely shot. First boundary of the innings and a beautiful one for Litton Das. Five without loss. The last ball of the previous over. The touch fuller, Leton Dash, was on to it in a flash and he's an elegant looking batsman. Not taking the food on the line, but still. No third man and deep square. So he has the ball straight. That's easy picking from Tami Mikbal, from his class and calibre. It was always going to the boundary with no third man there. Wide and slashed and slashed it hard and he knew it. He made a mistake there. Over pitching, you can't do that to Tamim. He's such a wonderful player. Has averaged 51 with 900s in ODI cricket. That's up there in that top category. And that's vintage from this experienced left-hander. Full face of the bat. Doesn't try to overheat it. No chance for Jason Mohammed. Maybe Shamar Hola was trying to go for a Yorker. 21 without loss. Good shots like that. That's why Bangladesh have been getting better in white ball cricket. That is a cracking shot from Tami Mikbal. He was on to it in a flash. Stand and deliver. On the up. Good placement. Sign of a world-class batsman indeed. With a touch shot, touch outside off stump. Just lent onto it. And the dejection shows it all. Go short. Always risky because you open up different sides of the field. Unintentional, but four. Leg buys, I think, will be signaled. Yeah. 37 without loss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Magnificent bowling. He deserved that. He deserves that wicket. He created that pressure, created the opportunity, <laughs> and forcing Litton Das to make a mistake. Outthinking the batsman there. And the reward is all his in the left hander. That's the first boundary we're getting to see after eight overs. It's just 12 runs now. In the last eight overs, the Bangladesh has managed to score with the bat. And this definitely adds into that. Yeah, that's uh, going to bolster his confidence. Just to see the movement forward and across. To the pitch of the ball. The 50 comes up with that boundary from uh, Tamim McBall. Very good bowling again. There'll be a polite inquiry, probably pitching outside leg stump. Catch it, Jay. Yes, Akil. Very well bowled again from Akil Hussein. Chantra just trying to defend it away and lobbing it straight. Soft dismissal in the end. Finds the feeler. He has to head back to the pavilion. Wicket number second for Akil Hussain. Oh, down Jay, down Jay. Well done, Sharo. 58 for two. It's gone past the man at slip. Important runs. Now, Akil. It's been a tentative batting effort, but you can understand. Actual bold. He's not afraid to toss it up. He's a bit unlucky there. It's a genuine edge. He's gone to the boundary. 
A lovely delivery. He looks a really good bowler, especially when there's some grip and turn on the surface. It didn't turn back in, it, it just sort of slid on and took the outside edge. 36 wickets in the last first class season for Hussein, only second to Virasami Pramol, who's in the test squad. Bowling from high up, creating yeah! the Oh, lovely delivery! Beautifully bowled! And First wicket in international cricket for Jason Mohammed. It would seem Tamim is walking off. Spun viciously. And just as Mohammed was dismissed, falling forward and being stumped, he creates that similar opportunity for Tamim Iqbal, searching for bat and ball. This has been a wicket, a pitch that has spun for the duration of this contest. Oh, one. Gets off the mark straight away. Went quickly. And it was guided nicely past slip. Just a touch too short and wide from Akilo Saints with Gabriel and Roach and Seals. Gone past that short third man. There's a lot to like about world cricket these days. Uh, 94 for three. One thing's for sure that Bangladesh is ensuring that everyone gets a hit in the centre. But let's say the West Indies bowlers have ensured keeping their tight bowling going consistently. They're adapting to the conditions. There's turn on offer participate in that World Cup so it's important for teams to oh, yeah! cleaned up the last ball of his spell is picked up Shakib al Hassan that's been the way the story for Akil Hassan and he's bowled really well and he's hanging the bowling it's drifting away you'd see him think it's going outside the line of off look how it's spun back Look at the initial angle and possibly chopped it onto his stumps. And he deserves that. Yeah, you can celebrate, young man. Absolutely top class bowling. Tenno. Yes, it's been a rarity. These free flowing strokes from the back have actually been a rarity from Bangladesh dressing room today. Mahmudullah has just stepped up and ensured that if it's a ball which is meant to be hit outside the off stump, make sure it goes to the boundary. That's what you need. You don't have to, you know, be respectful to a loose delivery and you really need to put them away like that. That's a good positive attitude. A little surprised with the previous delivery, but he's made demands and done well too. It's down. Yeah, the batsman annoyed with himself, Mushfiqur Rahim. Could hear that, ah, from him, saying that I should have put that away. Could have played it wider of the fielder at Gully. Down, down, Jay, down. Oh, well done, no. Jason. Don't want to get run out now. We've been playing safe all through the innings. Reverse. Got a bit of bat. Enough to take it to the boundary. No risk in that shot being a, a free hit. And that is the completion of the match. Bangladesh win quite convincingly by six wickets. That's yes, an easy win for the team, the home team. They waited and waited to score those runs. Lost four wickets in that chase of 123. But towards the end, they'll be happy of crossing over that line. A lot of debutants got to see from both sides. Six from West Indies, one from Bangladesh. But at the end of the day, a win is a win. And Bangladesh will be pretty happy with uh, the result. The perfunctory handshakes that we used to see not there it's now and that's uh, the bangladesh innings 14 for Litton struggled a bit took his time but hussein really came back with a superb delivery as he did with a couple of shanto and also with chucky it was too little for the west indians to defend yeah 47 was the opening partnership between the captain Tommy mcball and Litton does but once Litton departed quick again wicket of Shanto that West Indies bowlers managed.
was an impressive bowling card when you see the numbers the efforts coming in from these young west indian bowlers